It's been a problem in Albuquerque. People abusing and misusing bus stops. One city councilor wants it to stop. She's introducing an ordinance that would limit how long people could stand at them. News 13's Natalie Wattis spoke with the city councilor and joins us live from Central with the details. Natalie. Jessica, Dean, that ordinance would make it illegal to stay too long at a bus stop, lie down within 10 feet of the bus stop, or do anything at them that would stop people from using them as a bus stop. What's it like riding the bus in Albuquerque? It's not bad. You, you get to meet uh, pretty cool people, pretty interesting people. And at the same time, you get to see a lot of stuff, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. Folks who take the bus regularly here say waiting at the bus stop in the city comes with difficulties. You can't sit and wait for the bus or something because they could be dirty, graffiti or, you know, somebody sleeping or something. That's why city councilor Renee Grout is taking up the issue with a new ordinance. Councillor Grout says often people are trashing the bus stops, using them as bathrooms, and doing illegal drugs at them. I was at uh, the bank the other day making a deposit, and I witnessed somebody uh, using, you know, relieving himself right there at the bus stop, and that's that's against the law. Um, it's not okay, and um, we've got to put a stop to this. The ordinance would make it illegal to stay at a bus stop for more than an hour, to lie down within 10 feet of a bus stop or act in any way that deprives people of using the bus stop. This will be a tool that will um, help our um, APD officers and Metro security uh, be able to enforce the laws and making it safer as well. One woman who says she was formerly homeless says she doesn't think the ordinance is right. We are face off to push, like I said, and these homeless people, you know, we all got hearts and we all got feelings and I just wish they could leave us alone and leave them alone. And I don't think that's right, especially for the city council to say they're going to throw us in jail for sleeping at bus stops and all that. Others agree there is a problem. I think it can improve. Uh, they are short staff. I understand that. But we need to get to our appointments, to our jobs. We just need our bus stops to be safer. Now, we asked Councillor Grout how they would know if someone's been at the bus stop too long. She says that's something they'd have to observe, and then they would make those decisions as they came to them. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. If this passes, people found to be breaking the rules could face up to $500 fines or up to three months in jail.